everyone, Girl Meets Pixels here and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm bringing you guys a Let's Renovate video. And this is of L Urban Sprawl, which is a kind of a, I think kind of like a starter home in Sunset Valley. And it's a house that I have placed so many of my Sims in over the years when playing in Sunset Valley. And it has always just drove me crazy of a house. I've always tried kind of renovating it and changing it up. And I feel like I've never been able to successfully come up with something that actually looked good. Uh, so this is my attempt at making it just look better. Uh, I don't change any of the floor plan or anything like that, even though it does kind of have, you know, a weird layout. Uh, but that's kind of what I'm doing with these renovation videos is just not changing up the floor plan, changing up, you know, the things that I can change, but just keeping the original floor plan as is. Uh, so as you guys can see here, this is going to be the exterior of the house. Uh, and then in the next part, we will be decorating the inside. Uh, so I really wanted to change up the roof line. <laughs> that roof drove me crazy with the porch and the... It was just too much. It was just too much for me. I was like, this is not cute. Uh, so I eventually come up with this roof style and oh, it looks so much better. I feel like, <laughs> I mean, maybe I'm biased. I don't know. I just feel like it ended up looking so much better. Uh, but yeah, so I really want to keep this house. It kind of has a little bit of a mid century vibe, very similar to Jamie Jolina's house, which is their next door neighbor, uh, which is so, yeah, they're neighbors. <laughs> and to me, it just made sense that, you know, the builders of these houses in this area would have kept with a similar style. Maybe not the exact same kind of style because, you know, everyone's kind of renovated through the years and stuff has changed and whatnot. Uh, but it does have a bit of that mid-century vibe, which Jamie Jolina's house had as well. As I wanted to keep that in mind while renovating this, but also still, you know, update it, make it fresh, make it you know, something that would be acceptable to live in nowadays and not so outdated. Cause it was very outdated with the orange paneling and the weird brick and yeah. So uh, that's kind of the style that I went for was mid century. And I actually went on Pinterest and uh, found an exterior of, the, of a house that I thought was really cool. So I kind of based it off of that. Uh, not like too much or anything crazy. Uh, just, you know, Pinterest goes, and helps you kind of find the inspiration you need. And I love Pinterest because of that. So uh, that's a big thing I use when renovating videos is Pinterest. So if you guys are ever like, wow, Brittany, like, where did you get this idea? Da, da, da. Uh, sometimes, you know, I just go and look at Pinterest because there's a lot of really unique stuff out there uh, that you can find that, that just helps motivate and helps inspire. Uh, but yeah, so anyways, <laughs> I like I've not even really talked about this house. Uh, so right now we are working on the porch area and originally it was on stilts, which, you know, it's kind of cool, but I just felt like it just did not fit the style of this house like at all. So I went in and put regular foundation, uh, added some columns that, you know, actually made sense <laughs> instead of the weird columns we had going on, uh, added some stairs and I actually put a little side stair uh, to the right to go towards the carport area because before it just had just the stairs in the front and I don't know it just kind of makes sense to kind of have a little stair that goes off towards the car so that way you don't have to walk like all the way around I just felt like it flowed better uh, and then we're finally moving on to <sighs> the most oh the most difficult part that I had in this entire renovation which was the exterior side paint. I, oh my goodness, I could not make up my mind on anything. I wanted to do a mixture of brick and siding, but like, I just could not find the right brick to go with the siding. The siding was easy. I went with this kind of blue, slate blue color, and I love it. Like, oh, I love it so much. But I wanted a nice complimentary brick with it, uh, that was a little bit more modern and I just, <laughs> I, I struggled with it for a long time. So I actually ended up cutting out a whole bunch of footage because uh, I was not going to put you guys through that. So this is the brick that I ended up going with and I think it looks really nice with the blue. Uh, it has some creams in there, some grays, so that way we can, you know, use a lot of different uh, tones throughout the rest of the exterior. 
Uh, and then in the house that I was, in the picture of the house that I was kind of basing this off of, they had this orangier kind of wood. And I normally go with cooler toned uh, wood for my renovations and stuff like that. And so I was like, you know what? Let's let's mix it up. Let's step outside the box. Uh, so yeah, I did use a kind of orangier wood for the beams, the door, and uh, the railings for the stairs, I think. I don't know, not the railings, the actual stairs itself, maybe. I don't know, I can't, <laughs> I can't remember. Um, but yeah, so it was definitely something that was different for me and not something I would normally go with. And I don't know, I thought it was kind of fun to step outside my comfort zone and mix it up for once, because I really never do that. Uh, and then also I really love the railing that I went with for the porches. I normally don't do this. I usually go with like a wood uh, porch uh, fence, uh, but I didn't do that this time. I went with a metal and made it like this dark black. And I, I feel like it just kind of flows really nicely with the house and makes it have that modern feel to it while still, you know, not being too modern. I didn't want it to be too sleek, not too modern. I wanted it to feel homey and comfortable and warm while also having, you know, those retro finishes and also still being updated. So it's kind of just a mixture of all those things and this is just the result of that. Um, I really do love this house. It just turned out so amazing. Like, oh, I'm so excited. I hope for you guys to see the inside and also to see the backyard. The backyard is probably my most favorite part of this entire house, which normally like landscaping is not my thing at all. Like I cannot landscape at all and I always struggle with it uh, and I usually have to cut out a whole bunch of footage uh, in my videos of me landscaping because it takes me forever uh, but the backyard just ends up looking so cool and I just cannot wait for you guys to see it because I don't know I think you guys will like it and I cannot wait to show you guys with it with the furniture and stuff too that really amps it up uh, right now we're picking out windows and I like I said, I wanted to stick with that kind of mid-century vibe, but also throw in some modern kind of twists. And window-wise, I just do not have a good selection of windows, and I do not have a good selection of like front doors. I realized I need to go and download some more because I do not have enough. Uh, and I knew that the kitchen was going to be right there on that main wall. So I had to be careful about what windows I put in because I didn't want to have to see the back end of the counters coming through the windows because that's not realistic. You know, you can't build a house uh, in real life and have windows showing the counters. It just does not make sense at all. Uh, so I actually go in and put some test counters down. You guys will see in a bit uh, to make sure, yep, right there, <laughs> to make sure that um, the windows weren't peeking through into the counters. Uh, so I do have to end up going with these kind of windows, which I was kind of bummed about because I feel like I've been using them so much. I wanted to do some different kind of windows, uh, but in the end, you know, it works out how it needs to. And it kind of fits, you know, the style of the rest of the neighborhood. Jamie Jolina has uh, the same kind of windows. And as I was saying earlier, it just makes sense that builders would have built, you know, those houses all kind of together originally and would have used kind of the same materials. So. I felt like it made sense anyways, even though it wasn't the windows I originally wanted, but it works. Uh, but yeah, so just going in, placing lots of windows. Before, there was like only a few windows in this entire house, and it was so dark, so dreary, and I was just like, mm-mm, no, <laughs> that is not working. Uh, I did want to go in and do dark windows. I thought that would be really cool because I never do that. Uh, but in the end, I actually ended up just going with white. I felt like it was just too heavy. Uh, and we had too many different kind of tones of uh, browns going on. That I just felt like it just did not work. Uh, so I don't know, maybe in the next build I'll be able to use dark windows, but I decided to go with white. Uh, and you know, it works, it looks good. <laughs> you can never go wrong with white windows. Uh, here we are adding the porch for the backyard. Uh, and at this point I really had no clue what I wanted to do. I was like, oh, well wait, I should put like a awning or a covering or something. So I tried adding a roof. That did not look good. I did not like that at all. I was like, oh, this looks <laughs> this looks tragic. So I actually ended up deleting it and just uh, expanding the porch and then coming back to it later, as you guys will see. Uh, 
but yeah so ugh, like I said the backyard is my favorite part and it this house is on such a huge lot I'm surprised that they put this tiny of a house on such a big lot uh, so it's kind of hard at first I was very intimidated I was like oh my gosh like how am I going to fill up this space uh, but in the end I actually end up you know doing pretty decent if I say so myself uh, so yeah, that was kind of a challenge. I was like, this is such a big lot. Like, what am I going to fill this with? Uh, and I didn't want to just go and place a pool or, you know, any of the stereotypical stuff. So yeah, but right now we're adding in fencing and I, yeah, I don't have a lot of fences. So I kind of use the same ones over and over. Uh, they're the ones from, I'm pretty sure from the base game. Uh, they're just some good fencing, like good fences. Like they just work. <laughs> Um, but yeah, so th this was me just testing out 20 million different fences and then ending up ending up going with the same one that I had originally started with, which is the story of my life. That always happens to me with like everything I do. <laughs> I should just always follow my gut, but I never do. And then we just started, uh, you know, landscaping and painting the front yard. Uh, at this point, I wasn't really sure what I was going to do. Uh, the landscaping before was very minimal, so I didn't really have any kind of original like original landscaping to go off of uh, which I kind of normally do but I don't know in the end I like I said I really like how this house turns out especially the outside oh it just looks so good uh, I did want to mix it up a bit normally I just do dark dirt in the little planting areas uh, but I decided to go in and add some a redwood mulch to kind of mix it up add in some different tones and kind of bring in like the oranginess from the wood and I don't know, I really liked it. <laughs> I never use the mulch and it's something I usually forget about. Uh, but I really liked using it in this build. Even though you only see like a little bit of it. It's not like it's very prominent. Uh, but I feel like it just was a nice, you know, new thing to add in that I normally don't do. And that was kind of what I was trying to go for with this house was to step outside my comfort zone. Step outside, you know, what I normally do with my landscaping, my decorating, my everything. And I don't know, I feel like... I feel like I accomplished that. I did a lot of, you know, really different stuff than I normally do. Uh, and then I did cut out like <laughs> a lot of my landscaping. As you guys will see, there'll be kind of, you know, some jumps just because I really had to mess around with it. And I honestly had no clue what I was going to do at all, like at all. I wanted to go with these plants right here because uh, I thought they looked really cool with the house. Uh, but then I was like, you know, they don't really fit in with the environment. They're... I don't know, they just don't fit in with Sunset Valley, they don't fit in with the rest of the plants. And it's important for me to kind of make sure that the houses and their landscaping stay cohesive uh, with the rest of the neighborhood. I mean, it doesn't all have to match, uh, but like, I'm not gonna go and just put like, I don't know, like desert cactus here in Sunset Valley because there's not a desert. So it just wouldn't make sense to me, but there is palm trees. So there's a little bit of tropical plants and then a lot of just, you know, your regular kind of plants. Uh, so I just mixed those all together and I made sure to keep it different from Jamie Jolina's house because they're neighbors. I don't want to use the exact same kind of landscaping or the exact same plants. Uh, so I didn't, I made sure to use a lot of different plants. I uh, like these little tropical kind of, uh, leaf plants. I don't know what they're called. I can't remember what they're called, uh, but it's a little bit more tropical and being that they're near a beach, you know, I felt like it was okay. <laughs> it works. It works. Uh, and then, yeah, so this is for the most part, the, for the most part, the plants that I use, uh, but you guys just, you missed a huge chunk of me <laughs> combining plants together and trying to figure it out. I was like, I am not going to bore them with this horrible mess of plants. Uh, so yeah, <laughs> yeah, hopefully that's okay with you guys. Uh, so yeah, I, yeah, I don't know. For the most part, this is kind of how the landscaping goes. And I use this for the rest of the lot as well. Uh, in the backyard, it kind of just take the same plants, the same kind of concept, and then put it all together in the backyard as well. Uh, but it did take me a while to get to this point. <laughs> so do not, do not be like, wow, she's just so quick at landscaping and da da da. And like, no, like, no, I'm not good at it at all. <laughs> Takes me a long time to figure this stuff out. Overall, this, just the exterior of the house, I had about four hours worth of footage that I had to go through, uh, which normally does not take me four hours to do the exterior of a house. Normally it takes me about two to three. Uh, so this was definitely a longer 
kind of renovation for the exterior than normal. And then I did go in and add these aspen trees because I use them on Jamie's house. And so being that they're neighbors, I felt like, of course, there'd be more of these aspen trees. And I love them. Uh, like I said in the last video or in the uh, in Jamie Jolina's renovation video, it, aspen trees kind of grow together in these like groups or clumps. <laughs> and so um, that's kind of how I place them in game. And they're just really nice filler trees to like fill up the space. And then I also use, I think... I think it was some black gum trees because uh, there's quite a few of those in Sunset Valley as well. And then also the ornamental pear trees. I used those on uh, Jamie Julina's house. So I used a smaller version of those and put it in uh, the front there, as you can see. Uh, so like I said, I'm just trying to make sure that like all the trees and the plants and everything kind of mix together well and that they fit the surroundings of the entire town so like when we get closer to the beach and stuff I'll have more of the palm trees and uh, more of those kind of plants going on so that's just what I like to do to keep the game realistic because <laughs> I have to be you know picky like that uh, and then I'm going in now recoloring the little fencing uh, I wanted it to match the rest of the house so I did go with um, oh, I don't know I don't know if I go with the wood or if I ended up going with the black I decided I know I tested at one point that I wanted to do yeah right here like the black uh, metal kind of stuff uh, to kind of make it more modern and I think I go with that do I go with that <laughs> I cannot remember it's been a couple days since I renovated this uh, and looking back at the footage and stuff so yeah I actually go with the black which I thought was really cool because uh, I normally use just wood for uh, the little planter boxing areas and this time I decided to go with like a metal and so I don't know I thought that was kind of fun of course going in and adding <laughs> lighting for uh, landscaping one of my favorite things to do I don't know why it's so lame but I always just love you know lighting up that exterior of the house it just makes it so much more cozy and like oh I don't know I just always love it <laughs> uh, but yeah in a second we're gonna be yep heading on into the backyard which I'm so excited about like I said earlier seriously so excited about it uh, so I moved the trash can over of course and as you can see I fenced it in it's a little odd of a shape But I just didn't want it to be a regular rectangle because that's boring. It just yeah, it's not fun <laughs> And so I decided to kind of extend it a little bit bump it out on the one side, uh, but keep it, you know par uh, Not parallel keep it aligned with the other side and as you can see literally just putting in little boxes and then <laughs> grabbing the plants from the other side and just throwing them in the backyard. Uh, I, I didn't want it to be too complicated or too crazy. I was just like, let's keep it simple. Like I'm not gonna, mm -mm, nope. Uh, and then I go in and add another one right here. And then this inspired me to fill in with terrain paint right here. I was like, oh, we could do, you know, some stones right here. I normally don't do that. You, my houses tend to have a lot of uh, grass grassy areas for kids to play and for them to put like uh, slip and slides for the summertime stuff like that uh, but I actually end up filling in quite a bit of this lot with the stone and I felt like that was a really fun new thing for me because I normally do not do that so I really enjoyed that so you guys will see that in a bit <laughs> I start filling up so much of the backyard with that stone uh, but just finishing up the landscaping of course uh, and like I said, I just kept it very simple added in the lights from the backyard or from the front yard into the backyard And then I did add these little um, overhanging lights. I normally wouldn't put one on the side of the house like that I, I just felt like it really needed to be more lit over there So I added it in uh, and then of course add it to you know the doors because that makes sense I feel like everyone always has you know their little porch light right next to the door So that's usually where I put them uh, but yeah, so at this point I was like, okay, I'll just add a little bit and then I just <laughs> I kind of went crazy with it and just started adding a whole bunch as you guys will see in a bit uh, and I don't know I really like it though <laughs> you come down from the deck and then you you have more area to entertain and more area for I feel like this is just more of an entertaining kind of house I kind of see either uh, either like a bachelor maybe or an older couple uh, or even just you know a new newlywed couple or something that has a little bit more money uh, and I just picture them in this house it's a little bit more modern in style but has those mid-century accents 
Um, and I just feel like they would have, you know, a lot of dinner parties and people over, friends over all the time. It's not so much a kid kind of house. Uh, so that was my inspiration with this. I was like, you know what, they don't need that much grassy area because they don't have, you know, kids and they're not gonna have just kids running all around. Uh, so they're gonna have more of an entertaining kind of area. Uh, so as you can see, I filled in a good portion of the yard with the stone and then I started mixing up. At first I felt like it just was too like line and then lines and then just straight lines. And so I wanted to, I don't know, change it. So I do add some curves in there, <laughs> some diagonal lines to mix it up a bit. Uh, and then I started feeling like it was looking too bare. I was like, oh, I don't know how I feel about this. And so then I started adding more stone. Uh, and then I actually eventually add in um, another really cool accent for the house that is something I normally don't do either. Just This house was just me stepping outside my comfort zone. I think that's just what it was. I was like, let me test the limits, you know, and just try new things I normally don't do. Uh, added some more aspen trees in the back, of course. <laughs> They're just such nice filler trees, honestly. Uh, and then, of course, terrain painting. I made sure to use a lot of... Uh, the darker grass to kind of give some depth to the to the rest of the plot of land uh, That's something I normally forget to do. I just normally forget to terrain paint my houses uh, But for this renovation series, I've been making sure to add that in because You know houses don't just have just one flat thing of grass. There's always you know depth to it uh, Yeah, so then the landscaping is pretty much done Honestly, that's pretty much the landscaping. Very simple, as you can see, it's just a lot of greenery. And then, <laughs> I was like, okay, this porch, it needs something over it. I don't want it just all open. So I was like, you know what, I'll just go in and make my own kind of pergola, and that's what I ended up doing. I did test a couple of different designs, as you can see, uh, but I eventually just go in and keep it straight and simple. I didn't want it to be too cottagey looking. Uh, and you know, I am trying to keep this house a little bit more on the modern side. So straight lines is kind of what felt right to me. Uh, so I did recolor it. I just, I recolored it off camera and whatnot, but uh, it matches the wood of uh, the, not the fencing, I think the columns on the front porch. Uh, so yes, I added a pergola and I thought that was just super cute. You know, perfect <laughs> little accent there. Uh, and then I'm going in now and adding in this fencing and I was like, you know what? Let me make a little garden area. Maybe these people are into gardening and growing their own kind of food and plants and whatnot uh, Their own produce. Maybe they're more into that. Maybe they're eco-friendly or or eco-conscious Is it eco-friendly or eco-conscious? I think it's eco-friendly. Uh, so yeah, so I added in uh, this little garden area, which I thought was super cute and it just kind of broke up the area nicely without it being too weird of a break in between. Uh, and then I did test a bunch of the different fences and I did have to end up going with the white picket fence. Even though I wanted something a little bit more on the modern side, I just, I did not like any of them. Uh, so I do end up going with the white little picket fence, which is just a classic, of course. Uh, it adds in, you know, a little bit of that vintage flair. Uh, and then I did divide out the little, yeah, right there. I, I, I divided out uh, the dirt. That way, you know, it can be semi-organized for your sims and whatnot. Uh, later on, I do go in, not in this video, but in the uh, decorating part of the video, I do go in and add some plants in there. And I'm not exactly sure if they will be sent exactly, like, with the house. Like, if, I, if you download the house, I don't know if the plants go with it or not. Uh, cause they are from by debug mode. So I'm not sure, but I do add plants, <laughs> but your Sims can go, of course, uh, go and grow their own. But, uh, also this house will be available for download. Of course, like it always will be. Um, it is just going to be the shell of the house or the, just the, this portion of the house. It won't be decorated, uh, which is, you know, <laughs> hopefully okay with you guys. Uh, and there will be a custom content list for you guys to download so you guys can see where all the custom content stuff came from. There's not too much on the exterior of the house, but there is a handful of things that aren't um, with expansion packs or anything like that. So just make sure to read the description. I usually put all that information down below. Uh, but yeah, if you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up. And also, if you're not already subscribed and would like to be, make sure to click that button down below. And I will see you all in my very next video. Bye, guys.